So we're driving up to Scotland, family road trip, and I saw this two hump camel, which was so random. I had to pull over and take a look at this. And then I see that this is a great farm store as well. You guys know how much I love agriculture. I'll give you a quick view of the camel, and then we're gonna head into this store because it has a lot of nice farm things. If I could get some great cheese, that would be awesome. I know you guys may not be able to make that out too well, but this is private property, I can't go any further. But this is what caught my eye as I was driving a camel here in Northern England. I was just kind of blown away, it was just so unexpected. But let's go back and take a look at this store. It's a two-story affair, it looks really nice. And I love country stores, I love farm stores, and this looks like they're gonna have a little bit of all of that wrapped into one. Such a unique store. Let's just go in and take a quick look and check it out. Okay. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I was thinking was going to be. A bit of a farm store, a country store. You can always find some really unique items in stores like this. Things that you won't pick up anywhere else, you know. The larger stores don't carry them. But this is a really nice little container. I like that. I might pick up one of these for the kids. Okay, I see that this is a, a large store. Let's start on this end. We have some wines here. There's some gin, vodka, whiskey. Okay, just some nice outdoorsy type things that you wanna put in your yard. If you, if you fancy having that in your yard. Some nice rugs. Garden gnomes, everyone loves garden gnomes. Here's a llama, and then here's a very large replica of the camel that's outside. That looks really nice. Just some uh, toys here for the kids. Little toy section. I'm glad I left my kids in the car because if they'd come in and saw this, they definitely want something. Oh, this looks really cool. You can kind of put your name and grow. It looks like you grow a bean grow your name that looks interesting some more gardening type things I'm not sure if these cactus are real I love cacti but again I have kids and kids and cacti really don't go together not well anyways okay so this, that's what's on this end of this farm store let's uh let's move on down to the other end because this store appears to have a lot to it. It's the main register. Oh, here's a nice little pastry section here. Let's check out some of these pastries. Oh, there's a rainbow cake with buttercream. That looks good. Fruit flapjack. Here's some more flapjack. Some more cookies, just different pastries. You know, the word of the summer is delectable. Oh, is that lemon meringue pie? One of my favorite pies. Egg custard pie. It's beautiful. Some more cakes and pies. Here's some ice cream. I wonder if they make this. This says. Walkins Real Dairy Ice Cream. I was, yeah, I was hoping it would be locally made ice cream. That looks the best. Okay, so it's a bit of a, a full pastry. There's a pastry and then it appears to be a bit of a deli over here where there's a restaurant. Well, that looks very interesting. Okay guys, so we have Blair's mom on this video with us. You should have brought your wallet. Go back and get it, we have a little time. Oh, those well, look good. Card is gonna work here I, I'll right. just get it for you. What is it? What do you want? Just that. It's just, you want that? Yeah, it's just different. So yeah. For the kids. Yeah. Too. And you too? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we get that. This is a nice store, isn't it? Yeah, grocery stores are nice. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we saw this first time we saw this in Portugal. And you, um, it actually squeezes the oranges and make your orange juice right there. You can fill that container, completely freshly squeezed orange juice. The first time I ever saw it was in Portugal. 
Yeah. yeah. So it's fresh. It's super fresh. Super fresh. Yes, yeah, as fresh as it gets because there's the oranges. It'll squeeze it right here in front of you and fill that container. Okay. So here's some different chutneys and products. Hello. Is it pronounced main skill? Main skill, yes. Main skill. Okay, thank you. Main skill. Okay, so here guys we have some really nice smoked pie pastries. I'm telling you, if I lived near here, this would be my favorite shop. I'd be in here every other day, if not every day. Chicken leek and ham pie? That looks good. So Maine's Guild Farm Shop, here's a selection of olives. And what I was hoping to find, here are some cheeses. Oh, these look really nice. Oh, there's a mature cheddar cheese. That looks good. Now this looks like a, a type of a blue cheese. I'm not familiar with it. Winsleydale blue. That is. I'm making some of that. So what do we have here? Octopus. Octopus seafood salad. Okay. This store really does have some of everything. It's a bit of charcuterie, home roasted sliced beef rump, medium rare. And here's some of the larger blocks of cheese, Montgomery cheddar, it's a Gouda. And here we have some, just some nice vegetables, fresh vegetables. This is everything you could possibly want for in a farm store. And then guys, if you can see this, this is so beautiful because here you have your fresh vegetables, but this window, which you get this beautiful sight of the countryside. This is a picnic table, which you can sit out there. This is really nice. We're going around here. You have some meats here. They have a kind of pre-packaged if you want to do a do some different meats. There's beef burger patties. Some sauteed meats. Just really a great farm store. Oh, okay, I like this main skill. Look at that. Pork jam. Do they have a? There's a raspberry, raspberry, a raspberry. There's a raspberry. Maine's Gill Farm Shop strawberry jam is my favorite. This is definitely going with me because this is definitely hold. I am concerned as we do this road trip up to Scotland about overpacking the vehicle. We rented out a really nice vehicle so we can get the whole family in there to include the babies. Everyone's going up. Oh, all butter croissants. Look at that just fresh open. I've never seen it sold like this before. Look at this, it's got a Scottish raspberries. Oh, that looks so beautiful. We're getting close to Scotland, but I'm definitely getting this jam. Here's some more meats, some gammon joints, smoked. This, this store has, a, has some of everything, doesn't it? Oh, wow. Here's some nice coffee. You know what I love? I'm, I'm a fan of good coffee, guys. So I have to, these are grounds, but I'm a whole bean guy. I love to get my own whole beans. Peruvian. Oh, outrageously good coffee. This is kind of catching my attention. I think I may go with this Peruvian. This looks really good. English Tea Shop, the luxury tea collection. Okay, my hands are getting full. Oh, here, Grumpy Mule, here's some more coffee. Mm -hmm. Ethiopian, now I had Ethiopian before and it had a very different flavor. Uh, yeah, these are whole, these should be whole beans. No, these are grounds. So I, I like to buy whole beans. Whole beans? Yeah, whole bean coffees. And then, yeah, because we grind them ourselves at home. Yeah, I like the coffee beans. All of these, are these all ground up? Yeah, these are all ground. 
Oh, here's here's some bean. This is an espresso bean, but that's gonna be strong. There's one Sabine. But I do have this one. So we have this Peruvian whole bean. Be beautifully enjoyed it anytime. Sweet and nutty notes. Coffee care. We'll try this one. We'll take this. Okay. We're here we have some, some beautifully, you know, prepared meats. And then they have their own award-winning sausage. So we're traveling, so I won't be able to pick up any of this sausage, but I wish I could pick up some sausage. Everything just looks so fresh. Uh, you can tell that they take a lot of care with maintaining their store and uh, making sure they're only providing the very best meat, food, and selection and options to their customers. Look at this, they have won the, the Great British Butcher's Award. Britain's Best Butcher 2019. Wow, what else did they win? In 2021, Best Fresh Meat, Mangills Farm Shop. Wow. 2021, Best Independent Retailer. Come on guys, this, is, this store is top notch. The Northern Farmers Award 2023. They won this one this year. Family Run Farmer of the Year. Come on guys, this is, I knew when I passed by from outside at this store, yeah, we're going upstairs. I knew this store was gonna to be top notch and I have not been disappointed. Look at this, fresh eggs. And no, they don't have to be refrigerated to be good. I learned that when we had our own farm, we had eggs because we had chickens and you know, we learned very quickly, you don't have to refrigerate those eggs unless you wash them. If you wash them, then yeah, you have to get them in the refrigerator. Okay, so that's just the downstairs. A lot of food, a lot of veg, uh, a lot of well-prepared meats. Let's see what's upstairs here. Oh, are these are nice little soaps, I think. Oh, those are great. You only see something like that at Lush. No, not soaps, those are little waxes. Forgive me, guys. Those are some nice little waxes. You can melt those down, get some great scent. Oh, some clothing. Just things for the littles. <laughs> those are some nice little hats. Look at those. With the little ponies on there. Oh my goodness, this store is massive. I want to do this in first because it's, it's shorter. But, okay. Let's kind of loop around here. There's some women's clothing, dresses, and whatnot. Blair's with the babies and with the kids, so she didn't get a chance to come in here, but I'm sure she would have enjoyed. I love this. That's a pretty dress right there. I like that, actually. We may get a chance to get Blair in here before we leave, but I love this selection. Just nice, clean apparel. Looks really good. And guys, this have, they have these nice wooden floors. And there's a little creek as you walk that kind of adds to the ambiance. Oh, and here's one of my favorite things, guys. You know, I'm a huge fan of glass art, and this appears to be glass art, but this is on tile. Kind of farm scenes on tile. I can, we're traveling, so I really wouldn't want to pick this up. I'd be afraid of it getting broken. But if we come back on the way home the same way, I would love to pick this up. Here's some more country style art. Some rabbits, jack rabbits. What are you seeing that Purcell? Oh, it's just, I like dresses like this. Yes, yeah, nice. It's a Linen. Linen. Do you want to get it? Uh -huh. No, but it looks good though. Sure okay, what do you like? Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Yeah. And I wonder if that's real far. It looks like it would be. You like that's the leather. You like the leather part. Yeah, that looks leather. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a soft beaten leather. Leather. Yeah, I think it would be.
That price is telling me real fur, real leather. <laughs> this is what that price is saying. 350 pounds. I would think you're getting the real. Yeah, real sheepskin leather. Okay, that's what you get. That is nice. Now I'll tell you what I like. Look at these. Uh, look at these little sweatshirts with the sheep on them. Yeah. I like that. That looks really cool. Blakely would Blakely would like that. Oh yeah. It's two babies. We'd have to buy two pair. They don't really have any any shoes right now, do they? I didn't see any. I didn't see any. Not so what is this herdy? I think this line kind of sheep thing. Yeah. I've never heard of it before. Heard of it before. Jigsaw, yeah, sheep themed. Mm -hmm. I like the line. It looks good. Curry yeah, I like this. This looks real. Yeah, I like this. This one I really like has the sheep on it, and then here, sheep on that as well. Those are some nice belts. I saw some belts like this. Oh, Look at that. A few shoes. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. And then, you know, just to keep the uh, country store, farm store theme going. Look at your walking sticks. No. You mean like if you were just out walking? Yeah. Oh, Look really? at that. Look at that. Like you're just out walking. If you're, I guess if you, you know, if you're a shepherd, but if you're just out walking, yeah, it's a nice walking stick. They have them at different heights too. Yeah. So in case you know you're a different height. You know. Shepherds may shepherds may use those, but I would use it as just a, a, a basic, just a walking stick. That looks good. Do you know what? Nice belts. Nice belt, yeah. McKenzie and George. Oh, that is nice. Oh, look at these couplings here with the uh, pheasants on them, some with jackrabbits. The, I love the theme. It's just kind of rural, country, farmy. Yeah, the theme's really nice. And these belts, I like these belts here too. I like that one, but uh, not quite in my size. There's another, what is that, Troop? Or London? Yeah, some other theme here. Yeah, it is. Nice bags. Which one do you like? This is almost like a travel bag. Yeah, it is like a travel satchel. Yeah, that's good. Is that, in, is that in canvas as well? It's a British, it says British, British Bag Company. Look at that. British Bag Company, 95 pounds. I like these. I see these a lot. Yeah, that does look good too. That's a different brand. Troop by London, that looks good. Okay, again, if I was, if I lived a local, we'd be here just about every other weekend. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. Nice little Highland cattle. <laughs> Plush. Plushies this is a really big one. That guy's huge. Little Highland Calvary. I mean, we're getting close to Scotland, so I'm running out of I'm running out of arm space. Nice little chair. Nice little puppy dogs there, and just nice little fluffies. This plushie here is coming with me. Okay, let's see. We have another end of the store to look at. And this looks like more of bedding. Some nice pillows here with the dogs on them. Those look good. Houseware, home goods. This is the home goods section. How many times have I said it already? This store has it all. Yeah, one-stop shop. Yeah, one-stop shopping. Follow your rule. Home goods. You know, if you're into that theme, if you're into this uh, 
rustic rule theme, then they have it here. Amen. What do we have here? Happiness is being at Main's Kill. I like that. Happiness is being at Main's Kill. This is making me happy. I'm pretty happy. You happy? Yeah. yeah. Nice little tractor. This is nice. Got a little replica there. So let's keep it moving here. Some nice art, ornamental things to put on shelves, hang on a wall. Some more paintings. The Duck Company. I've seen these little ducks all over the place. Some King Charles mugs. Oh, there they okay, you get the whole royal family here. Some of them at least. Okay. Jigsaw puzzle. This book will be a really nice because I love these natural colored things like this. The jigsaw puzzle. Just kind of natural colored. This whole aesthetic appeals. I, I, it, it appeals to me as far as just being rural and rustic. But with us, you know, classy as well. Some beautiful artwork on the wall here with the, with the Highland cattle. Some nice rugs here. Some nice little rugs. These are probably going to be sheep, right? Well, those look good. Soft? That is nice. Outdoor cushions and then more and more uh, gold star ivy, sheepskin rugs. Yeah. Yeah. That makes you want to sleep on the floor. <laughs> Natural, there's some cowhide behind you. Yeah, sheepskin here, some cowhide right there. Yeah, I think they may just dyed it that way to give you that, that look. Yeah, that is nice. I'm gonna take a walk over here, look at that, some birds. Oh, we're on the back side, but there are some flowers. I think these are plastics though. They had some live flowers outside, out in front of the store. But here's some great, just kind of, oh, that's really pretty. Look at that. And then they have some of my favorites here, which are gonna be dahlias. I see some roses, uh, lupins maybe. are really nice and of course my favorite flower at all yeah the silks are beautiful and look at these peonies I mean these peonies look we left real ones at home on the table right mm -hmm. these look but these are really nice yeah, yeah. and these aren't going to fade on you they'll just stay right there exactly yeah these are beautiful yeah okay this will be my last time saying that this store has it all it's my last time saying it. I'm not going to say it again. You like that? Just sit there, put your feet up. Huh? Yeah. So you would eat on it. This is, this is for beauty. And then you put a... Um, you get you a wooden um, thing. Tray? And you tray and you put boots on it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Main skill, right? Yes. Farm shop. Yes. Yes. That's really nice. You see why it's an award-winning store, though. Why? Why? It's it's an award-winning. You like that green? Yes. That is yes. nice. Absolutely. And listen, 
Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, set that on top. Yeah, you, yes. And then you put, you would put books. You put books. Yeah. 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 That looks good. And then you have that. And you get you one of those fancy shoes. Mm-hmm. Ooh. You do, whose house are you designing? Mine. Yours. Mine. Okay. Mine. Okay. Mine. Okay. Mine. Yes. Oh, look at this artwork. This is so clean. I like this. Nice straight lines. Oh, I like this artist. Gary Walton. Oh, that's nice. I like the artwork here. That almost looks like kind of the cliffs of Dover, wrong in the country, but I just like that. Bloom Cottage. This is the one that caught my eye at first. Oh, yeah. Look, first I thought it was a baseball game, but it's not a baseball game. No, no, it's just kind of a local, maybe the local countryside here. Yeah, you could. And this is just inside. You know, there's the, the camel outside. and appear to be having other things set up outside as well. She kind of get into. But we do have to continue on. <laughs> and more. Look at that artwork on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. This home goods section is really nice. I thought, you know, I was impressed at first with uh, with the downstairs, but I'm equally I'm equally impressed with uh, what we have here, and uh, I'm glad to have two new twins so I can keep buying plushies and have an excuse to say it's for the twins. We put a lot of energy into making this successful. This didn't just this didn't just pop up <laughs> happenstance. Someone had a plan, had they had a vision, someone had a dream to be able to make something like this happen. Oh, we did get you in here. Yeah. We were on the way out. We, That's really cute. This did is, you try the ice cream? We didn't try the ice cream. We were just kind of looking at everything. This store is, this is, you know, we did. This is one of the uh, nicest and best put together farm stores I've ever been to. Yeah, it's very cute. Yeah, we, we went upstairs and they have a ton of. This all the clients. Yeah, there's a ton of home goods stuff up there. There's clothes up there. That's a, it's really well put together. And it's an award-winning shop because they have awards from 2019, 2020, 21, and even an award from 2023. Oh, let me see this gorgeous game. Oh my God. I had that. <laughs> Yeah. Malachi? Malachi. 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 It also says to play area. Play area? Mm -hmm. I didn't see the play area. I didn't want that. Okay. So guys, this is Main Guild Farm Shop. If you're ever in North Yorkshire, you have to stop by. This store is really phenomenal. And we didn't even do much as far as the outside. I went and looked at the camel, but there are sheep, there are cattle. It's the whole theme. You can spend a bit of time out here, I think, and really enjoy yourself. There's a horse right there, the sheep and cattle. And you saw the camels and the donkeys. Yeah. And it's the donkey. I saw the donkeys. You see the flowers? Because I went yeah. that way, so I was like, maybe he's over there. Okay, so guys, we're going to finish this video up here with some donkeys, miniature horse, and just equestrian. If you're ever in North Yorkshire, stop by Mains Gill. You'll enjoy it, guys. I had a blast. We got the kids out for a little bit. They got the place for just a minute. I love the setup here. But we're on a road trip, and we're on our way to Scotland. So catch us in the next video. We'll see you soon.